Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Dominion. I'm gonna just dive right in here. You sure do find matches fast when you have the cards. <laughs> I don't know, you find matches fast even otherwise, I think. What the heck is all this? I know all these cards. This is like Intrigue and Base Set. <clears throat> oh wait, no, I don't know this one. I've seen it once. It's a village that doesn't draw if it can take something out of your discard pile instead. What are we doing here? There's no buys. The gainers are artisan and workshop. There's no attacks either. Hmm. Hunting party and sentry are probably reasonable things to buy if you start with five. I mean, you're, you really just want to build up to a province every turn, right? What's the way to do that? I would be inclined to go for, like, hunting parties. But hunting parties are really bad first purchase. So I think I get the sentry and thin out, even though that's not that important for hunting parties. Yeah, hunting party minstrel seems like a mini combo, maybe? Because this throws away your other stuff to make sure you find your hunting parties, and then the hunting parties find you your gold, silver, copper, and... Actually, there's not even a terminal silver I could use here, is there? Hmm. Anyway, I'll get a sentry and figure it out later, I guess. I grabbed a workshop, which makes sense. You want you want a lot of thrones and minstrels, maybe. Poacher, I guess, is your first purchase with four. What? Treasure map. That doesn't seem right. You gonna print a bunch of treasure maps with workshop for some reason? Trash it all. Oh, I didn't... I actually drew all three estates. That's pretty bad. I can't actually get a silver. Okay. Well. This is going to be a rough game. <laughs> oh, I don't want five now. I want like a three and then a three or something. Come on. Well, I can't get both of those. There's only... There's only five bucks left in the deck, and this is all of it, right? Last three cards are estates and a sentry. I'm going to get killed here, and my opponent is not doing anything that makes any sense either. <sighs> yeah, trash the coppers. Buy nothing again. This is horrible. Okay, now we can finally start building a deck. And my deck is thin, so I'll be going through it quickly, at least. So, I mean, I have that going for me. Do I want a poacher? I don't think opponent's going to be able to empty any piles. I think a poacher is better than a silver. I probably should have bought a poacher instead of the first silver, actually. They collided treasure maps, okay. Well, yeah. Mountain Village. I don't understand this plan. Hit an estate, that's nice. Five bucks. I could start getting hunting parties now. I think that's still the way to go. If I just add a gold, I can start provincing with enough hunting parties. I still have one estate, right? Yeah. Let's try to get rid of that. Nailed it. I guess hunting party kind of sucks for me right now, doesn't it? I need I need more money. Give me a poacher. And then with poacher, I can buy gold. I don't know. I think I might actually win this game despite like being atrocious. I think my opponent's plan is insane. My plan is questionable and has been unlucky. 
You know, maybe instead of the gold, I should grab an artisan. It would be nice to have a terminal, wouldn't it? Although, yeah. Well, no, because I need a gold to be able to buy provinces. And what is Artisan going to gain me? It would be nice to gain hunting parties. That would really, really address some issues. I guess that's fine. And then next turn, I can buy a gold, and everything after that will be gravy? Question mark? Because the Artisan is going to set up the um, sustainability on hunting parties? I don't know, maybe I should have tried to trash one of my coppers, but I don't think so. Kind of need them. Uh, oh yeah, let's put a sentry on top, I guess. Not that it matters. Right? So artisan. Gaining hunting party. No, we're putting a hunting party on top, of course. And a gold. And now we're like pretty much set. I'll actually even start every hand with a hunting party because of the artisan, right? <clears throat> I mean, in fairness, opponent does have a province. They now have two provinces. Maybe, maybe I, I was a little bit too excited when I said I had a chance to win. That's one excess copper that I don't need. Leaving this on top is, it doesn't matter because I'm about to play it. And I need to in order, yeah. Artisan for hunting parties, top deck the hunting party, buy a province. So this is the plan. Do this for the rest of the game and see if it wins. It doesn't look like it's going to. But I don't know how reliable opponent's deck is. I haven't really been paying any attention. Mm. No, I guess I can't manage to quite top deck another hunting party. Oh well. Gain a hunting party, top a hunting party. Just keep buying provinces. <clears throat> See, this, like, if I hadn't had such atrocious draws, this could have taken off a little sooner. But I, I think we're too late. Maybe. If opponent misses twice in a row, I think we're okay. It might have to be three times in a row. <laughs> or I might have to start buying duchies. Does Harrison gain duchy, actually? It does. Okay. I don't want to have to do that, but <clears throat> something I could do. Right? Because... Yeah, in fact, I should, right? I won't be able to top deck a hunting party, and it's going to make it way harder for me to be consistent. But if I gain 9 now and 9 next turn, that's 30. Opponent can only get to 26, right? Hang on. Do I need to do that both times? What if I gain 6 and then 9? That's 15. 20. Yeah, that's enough. Opponent could maybe workshop an estate to tie it? Who's player 1? They are. I would accept a draw here. So I'm going to make sure I can get the province next turn. Or, I mean, as sure as I can be. <clears throat> and try to cash in the win by grabbing a duchy with the last province. Okay. Having two provinces in hand is bad, but Hunting Party is a pretty powerful card. I, I didn't even like tell you guys what all these cards do. So Hunting Party's deal... <clears throat> is, uh, it replaces itself, and then it goes looking for a card that's not already in your hand. 
So you fill a deck with hunting parties, and you get like one copy of all your unique cards at least. Um, opponent does nothing. Okay. I think if they had gotten a duchy, that would have been pretty cool for them. Um, good work, hunting parties. It's working. Yeah, skip the province because I already had one, see? And now uh, I think we're, we're home, right? We just gained province duchy and opponent can't win anymore? What's in my discard? Is it just the province? Discards a province. It's just the province, so it doesn't really matter what I do. So, we can't just gain a province in a hunting party, because then opponent will gain a province and win. But the point is, now, we gain the duchy. Still top-decking hunting party. And buy a province. And now what are you going to do? Two hunting parties is probably GG here. No, they have an artisan too? I've missed that. Okay, but they don't have $8, right? Okay. <laughs> I haven't paid any attention to what they're doing. I looked at, I knew they had a workshop, but I didn't know they had an artisan. Okay, I mean, it's not GG yet. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, that should... Well, no, I guess I can't guarantee that'll do it. Now we're good. Trash nothing. I don't actually need the Artisan to win. Let's discard that to make sure we get another unique card, which should be gold. And if we can draw through to get it, great, but I don't need it. Top deck the province. And by the last one, got him. Okay, so that was the plan coming together. I think it could have gotten there a lot faster if I'd been a little luckier and maybe a little smarter. Um, the, the silver that I got and the... I remember something was wrong about the timing of the silver and the poacher. But overall, I'm okay with it. I don't know. Is there like a re rematch thing? I don't know if opponent seems to be wanting to rematch. I just want to like auto match every time. This is a fast game. So I don't know. Can we like. Can we review what the kingdom was? Is that a way, a thing? Can you do that? I don't know. Uh, I, sh I should have shown you guys. Should have paid more attention to mentioning what was going on in the kingdom. But it was a kind of boring kingdom, right? No, uh, well, there's a village. Hunting party was draw. No attacks to speak of that I, none at all, I think, but certainly no interesting one. No buys was the big problem for an engine. So I, I did what I could to put together a hunting party deck. I thought actually the artisan was a really cool addition to it. I haven't, you know, I, I talked before about how, um, I played Dominion a lot a long time ago, but I'm I'm out of, I'm out of date. The Hunting Party is a card I know I know well. Artisan I've only recently become aware of, so that's that's a combo I haven't played before. Because a problem with the Hunting Party deck is okay. Usually you don't do much so much trashing in it because you you the Hunting Party is skip over all your coppers anyway. So what's the point? Um, but it makes it easier to like hit more Hunting Parties, I guess. And so usually you don't start provincing when you only have one hunting party. You need to get a critical mass of them. And if it's a good thing to if it's a good thing to do on the board, your opponent is fighting you for them. So you probably both have five by the time you start doing anything. Uh, starting provincing on just one with the plan for artisan to keep buying and top decking more. I thought that was pretty cute. Anyway, let's get out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.